locate the weapon. Yeah, it's just a key. Are you going to heaven? No. You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. So, we're the same. We can't go to heaven because you're not good. And I'm not a person. The Covenant. All right, so The Covenant is a movie starring John David Washington. It's also got Ken Watanabe in it. It's also got some other people in there I know, but I don't know, and it's kind of hard to, and I'm not going to look it up, so, you know, uh, oh well. Um, so basically the story of it is set in the, in the, in the near future, 2060, 2070, where basically the, uh, we we built AIs. They were great, but then they bombed you at the bomb. They bombed LA. So United States goes to war to to eradicate AI because they are going to be the destruction of humanity. We have seen that formula before, um, and usually we're right. Maybe not this time. John David Washington, he pl he plays his uh, double agent character in the beginning of the movie. He is a double agent for the United States. And then you find out, no, he's actually a, uh, uh, you, you actually find out, he doesn't really care about America's go. He's just trying to find his wife that he left uh, with his uh, pregnant child. And so so he he's very more full of that. The, I really, really like the movie. And I really love the sci-fi of the movie. The movie is directed by Gareth Edwards, who directed the best Star Wars movie in the last 10 years, Rogue One. Love that movie. And Creation is such a very cool and interesting sci-fi that it's kind of hard to describe. I mean, some of the stuff they do, it reminds me of a bunch of different stuff, like District 9. It reminds me of Children of Men at times. But then it also reminds me of Blade Runner. I mean, there's all kinds of cool elements, but then I also feel like the movie does its own thing. Because usually when we have AI, AIs are going to take over the world. But I really like this idea of this uh, little of this uh, little kid character who is trying to bring freedom and justice to robots all over the world. And and then like uh, there's this this ship that is basically the Death Star. It's basically a like realistic version of the Death Star. So. As a sci-fi fan, I really, really enjoyed the movie, and the performances for me in this movie were great. The movie's not too long. I did see it really late, so I was getting kind of tired during the movie, but I have to say, The Creation was actually a really, really good movie, and I would definitely watch the movie again. I would def It's a movie that the more I think about, I think the better it's going to be. So I am going to give The Creation, I'm giving it an A for now. So guys, have you seen the creation? And what are your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.